Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series and just before we get into the normal series I quickly want to go and show you guys something. Those of you that have been following for a little while or know much about me and Isaac, I have created some mods over the time that I played this game. One's, one for Tated Eden, one for Devil Deals, uh, one for Rebalancing Greedy Mode, and two for adding rare secret rooms to the secret room and, rare se uh, and ultra secret room pool. Um, sorry, super secret room pool even. Um, and I've actually been sort of tinkering around and had an idea for a mod for a little while now, and those of you that have been watching for a while will also know I've been using um, a personally edited version of a mod that I found in the workshop that adds better loot to chests. I wasn't a big fan of the other changes, apart from one that made haunted chests better and giving them their own loot pool, giving them their own item pool. Um, and so I took that mod, and with the help of Pedroff, one of the lead um, developers of the Ipecac community mod, um, me and him are good friends, so he helped me out with the coding side of things, and he's reworked that mod to make it a little more efficient, as well as we have updated it, um, sort of the idea that I had, to also include a unique trinket pool, and do the same thing for spiked chests. So, if we just quickly, first of all, go and put on these here, we can try and show that off a little bit here, so let's, um, let's spawn, like, two of each chest. It's only a 15% chance, so there's a chance we won't get an item, but there you go. We got spirit shackles there from that uh, from that chest, and we got curse of the tower from this chest. So, as you can see, they now have their own unique loot pools, which I'm I'm very excited about. Um, obviously, the ghost items are going to be all ghost themed, and the mimic slash spike chests are all self damage or um, on hit effects. So yeah, it's, it's it's a new mod we've added to the series. Uh, it should hopefully be out by the time that you guys are watching this. So. Let's hope for that. Um, we will quickly go over to the main save file for the series. But yeah, I just wanted to show that off real quick at the start of the episode because I'm pretty proud of it. I think it's a really, uh, really good mod. I'm hoping other people like it. Right, we got Tainted Master Emma again. Ooh, Tainted Jacob. Okay. Okay, game. I see how it is. Um, yeah, so I, I, I think in my in my personal um, opinion, it's a, it's a really cool mod. It's something that should have been done a long time ago, and I'm surprised... No one else did it. Uh, and I'm also surprised the person that made uh, the haunted chest version, actually. Do you know what? Let's uh, do that. The person that made the haunted chest version, actually, um, didn't release the haunted chest uh, edition as a separate mod. I am, of course, going to credit that person for the original idea and because we adapted some of their code. But yeah, I'm hoping this should be a pretty cool mod. At the minute, this the, the mod isn't out. We're, we're currently just working through a few small issues. Wow, butter bean. Um... A few small issues, but otherwise it's in a pretty good state and we've got the item pools going. There is two items, one in each uh, chest pool, that are incredibly good. Um, for the most part, they're all on theme. Some items are better than others. Um, but there is a few that are real, real good. Um, we should go back and get that tinted rock over there. Um, so, like, obviously you can probably imagine what's in the ghost pool. The, the one exception, although I would still say it works, um, because it's it's kind of ghost slash death themed, um, is there is a chance for death certificate in the in the haunted chest pool. Obviously, um, it's a rarer chance, and it is going to be a like harder item to get. And in the um, in the same vein, oh my god, oh thank you. Um, in the same vein, in the um, in the spiked chests, there is a chance for Damocles. Um, they're probably like the, the the best items in there, but they are on theme. Um, it might that, people might think they're a little too powerful, but especially the spiked chests, they ha that that item pool has an absolute ton ton of items in it, and of course the trinket list as well is quite large for the. Um, for the spiked chest, the whoopsie, um, there you go. The uh, ghost chest trinket pool isn't quite so big. Neither is the item pool, to be fair. But they've both got a, a decent amount in them, and I believe we've set it to currently be a 15% chance for an item, a 15% chance for a specific trinket, and the rest of the chance for just getting the normal regular loot. So yeah, hopefully that mod will be out soon. I really wanted to showcase it because it's a mod that I had the I've had the idea of, of for a while, and I'm reasonably proud of um, of how it came out. And I'm hoping I'm hoping it'll do pretty well on the workshop, uh, just because something like that doesn't currently exist, and I'm kind of dumbfounded that it doesn't. But there you go. 
But yeah, it's going to be cool. Um, but I've been here, I'm actually remembering isn't as bad as I gave it credit for because it, upon pushing enemy into a wall, it does do pretty significant damage. So if we can, uh, if we can manage to push an enemy and get it to hit a wall, it's actually going to be quite beneficial to us. And it recharges just ultra quick. Like we killed that enemy there. Ow. Whoopsie. Oh my god, I can't. I'm trying to hit this dude, but it's not working. There you go. You just die by that dude. Thank you. Ooh, there's a, we've got a glitched heart down here. We should check that out real quick. It could be something good. There you go, like a soul heart. I like it. But yeah, I'm kind of interested to be playing around with Butterbean. And of course, we're playing as Tainted Jacob as well, which is always just a barrel of laughs. Um, a very stressful character, but I, I don't know. It's a pretty fun character. But as you can see there, Butterbean performing. Butterbean doing well. Using Butterbean effectively is crazy. We got everything there. Uh, I'm a little worried about my HP, but another Tinted Rock here should hopefully um, stop my worrying. Okay. Let's go, let's go. See what's in our item room real quick. Sad Bombs, do you know, it gives us some bombs, so that's not bad. And it's, it's one of those items, I think Sad Bombs is like, it's got the potential to be really good later on. But like, early on it's not really that worthwhile. Oh my god, I keep trying to dodge Tinted Jacob and get myself hit. I'm just not used to it. I've, I haven't played um, with Tinted Jacob in a long while, so it's a little, oh my god, that annihilated him. Uh, it's a little tough getting used to this dude, but we'll get there. Nice kill on Monstro there. Um, we'll take the booster pack and see if we get any nice cards. We did get two foils. Stomp many times. No, thank you. Uh, teleport you to a treasure room. Uh, we'll probably just use that on this floor. Um, ooh, hello. Definitely be taking nine lives there. Thank you. Um, and we'll take the gilded key as well. Why not? But yeah, let's uh, let's pop this. This should give us another item choice. There you go. We get Bumbo. Uh, no, thank you. Damn it. We didn't really get anything great there. Let's try bombing it and see what we get. Hey, that's very good. I like it. Right, let's get out of here, I think. Skedaddle, skadoodle. Unfortunately, grabbing nine lives as the ghost form has affected our HP. But I kind of expected that. Right, reveal. Uh, world card's pretty good here. We'll do a two of swords as well. Uh, another world card. We'll grab that. Okay, let's go back and find our secret room real quick here. I'm a bit worried because um, I'm, I'm not exactly the most... The, the best player to not be getting hit here. GB bug is GB bug. Hey, some extra bombs is nice. Yeah, GB bug's pretty nice. I I, I feel like it can be used pretty effectively. It's not the best item. Uh, we can at least use it on these cards here to try and roll them into something a little more valuable, which, honestly, that was more valuable. We weren't going to use that card ever anyway, so one bomb is all I need. But yeah, as you can see, we have actually affected our HP here. Um, which is unfortunately a shame, but yeah, the, the, the crackle thing we got going on here is always fun. I don't think uh, Butterbean's going to move this dude, is it? I should really try and use um, my GB bug a little more often to try and get some good stuff out of that. Now, that is a tempting offer. Butterbean is... is it's, it's Actually, it's been a pretty good item for us so far. But... That was a great room right there. But... I do think we could possibly get a better passive item. But the thing is with those chests, it can only drop deliverance items. I do wonder, maybe I'll check if I can update the uh, the item pool for those chests to be a little more favorable. Ooh, red penny is so good. Um, To be a, bit, a little bit more favorable. Hey, you, you fart on me? No, I fart on you. Oh, nope, you farted on me. <laughs> oh, we got the flare as well. Okay, let's hope we don't die here. Health is just in a pretty dire spot, but nine lives allows us to build something pretty pretty incredible, I think. So I don't really mind. Oh. Okay, so we got the flare here going on. Yeah, I can't push this guy into a wall considering he is literally on a wall. There you go. Um, same with these dudes, I would assume. That was incredible. <laughs> Oh my god. Tainted Jacob's just a really, really genuinely fun character. Th this is great. This is the coolest build. I realize I'm probably going to take some, some dumb damage in here. Um, 
But yeah, this is this is really cool. We've got something very, very interesting going on here because we have this luminary flare thing for extra fire damage in that regard. But then on top of that, might die here. And um, on top of that, we've also got the, the craggle fires as well. So it's like double the fire. I really hate the situation I've put myself in here. Oh God, this is quite awful. I'm, it's these guys that are scaring me more than anything. It's nice to be able to fight them away. I don't know how much of a buff Butterbean did get in Repentance. I feel like it's got a lot more range than it used to have. Like, it will push enemies away from quite the distance. I don't know how true that is, but it feels that way. At least, dude, you dashed in a way that I was not expecting at all there. Okay. Just remember to use this guy appropriately. We should definitely be taking pills. Paralysis, no. Uh, we should definitely be taking pills to try and get the best advantages we can here. Um, we don't really have any need to do anything else on this floor. That was a really, really bad one there. Oh, God. Oh, my Lord. I might lose a nine lives here. It's, it's very, very plausible. Yep, there you go. Okay, I'm okay with losing one nine lives, but any more than that, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to start to get a little ticked off, so... There you go. <laughs> That's how you do it. Ooh, creatine powder's very good for us here. It would have been nicer to get HP, maybe, but creatine powder is going to give us a multiplier, which is, of course, going to set us up for the uh, for the future. I'm a little bit... Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm frustrated with this run right now because it's got the potential to be so good. We've got two very, very intriguing uh, items that could very much pop off, but we really need some HP to make it work. Honestly... I've got to say, Butterbean is really buttering my toast right now. And I do use that metaphor because I'd already said the word butter and it fit. Ooh. Pop it. Power pill. Um, I really want to keep my red coin thing. I don't think it has a super high chance of working, but it's high enough for me to uh, to want... Yeah, oh my god, why did I do that? That was such a bad idea. We're getting some just really tough rooms, to be honest. For, for this guy, at least. Ooh, we get to go in here. Um, yeah, considering bosses are relatively easy, I'm not going to say easy, but we should definitely try this. Okay, let's, um... Oh, did you, you just jump right over him, you dick. I am thor- Dude, stop jumping over him, thank you, you finally landed on him. Oh my god, we might die in here. I didn't know the saucer gave a soul heart, I should maybe say that in the description. Oh god, this guy just spewed out a bunch of spiders. Whoa! The amount of craggles. I, by the way, I have absolutely no idea what causes the flare to proc. I, I really, it's, it seems to be once enemies get to low enough HP, it just starts going. But I honestly really don't know. This, this is very, very annoying. Oh my god, Dark Ezel, you are absolutely fucking me over right now. Okay, we got it, we got it. We keep losing our Devil Deal chance. I just want to quickly check, actually. Let's go to the encyclopedia and see if the flare actually does tell us how it procs. Um, killing enemy has a chance to make it shoot. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Also, rainbow poop to heal half a heart. Yes, please. Obviously, red rooms aren't going to proc in here, but it can give us a cracked key as well. Remember that. It's not just red rooms that can open. The red uh, the red coin can also drop a cracked key, which is pretty cracked, but I believe the chances are pretty low. Honestly, this is such a like hard-fought run right now. Like We have a lot of lives, which makes it a little more reasonable, but like we are really, really like trying right now. Oh my lord. That flare just went off then. Just Dark Ezel, just calm your passions, my dude. Calm your passions. There is no need to be this in my face about your about your business. So yeah, basically we want to be killing an enemy as early as possible to get one of those solar flares going. Okay, we'll definitely be checking this out. Money's good. 
unfortunately the item isn't, but this does mean our shop has a bit more worth. Um, we have to buy this because it is just required. Um, 33% chance of spawn around and pick up upon killing a champion. That's actually pretty good going. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, I will bomb this just to see if we can roll a good item. We did indeed roll a good item, although we can't currently afford it, but it would be very nice if we could manage to afford that. Okay. Keep on going. The dumpy... I, I just kind of like how it's like... No. I dump on you now. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. I am the dumpy now. Oh, this is, a, this is just a trash room full of trash people. I think I have to take the rotten, uh, just in case. Like, j just to try and give me a bit more power. God damn, it's a fish head boy. Please give us that five cent. I will be... Thank you. I was just about to say, I'll be in debt to you forever if you allow me to buy Stopwatch. Stopwatch should significantly help us. It's a speed up, which I think is huge for this character anyways. Uh, but slowing everything down is just going to give us a bit more time to chillax. A bit more time to just take it easy. Because our, our health is still going nowhere. Like, let's, let's go fight the boss. Really? You were so far away, that was basically useless. I wonder if you can reroll his eyes. I doubt it, but that'd be funny. Oh, dude. You keep stopping your charge like an inch away from the boss. It's really annoying. Really? Also, why do I keep pooping when I get hit? What's that about? Is that the saucer? Might be the saucer. This could be good. It's good enough. It's good enough. Sadly, still no devil deal, but those two soul hearts might just be what we need to guarantee you on this floor. Okay, it's a blight. Ah, oh, no keys, unfortunately. I'm looking forward to seeing these extra drops we might be getting from champions here. Could be, could be pretty good. I really need to utilize Butterbean a little more in the right conditions. Like, make sure an enemy is actually near a wall before trying it. I just like how we keep getting these runs that are really heavily fire-themed. I don't know what it is. I don't know if there's just a lot of um, modded fire-themed items. But we keep having these very, very heavily fire-themed items. Even Dark Ezo has a pretty strong fire theme to him. This is a just tragic room right now. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. Butterbean just killed that enemy instantly. Also, I love the solar flare plus the um, the craggle. It's just we're getting these insane like chain reactions of the, the, the solar flare pops off and immediately after we get a huge amount of fire spawned by the craggle. It's, it's a great combination. Still yet to see the, the, the red penny prop, but then again, like I said, it is a relatively low chance, which is good, because it would kind of be stupid if it wasn't. I don't know where he is. Okay, that, thank God. Oh, we got a soul heart from him. Thank you. That was really scary. I had no idea where the boss, uh, where thingy was then. See, we, we actually procced the uh, the red coin there. We procced it, but it, nothing, nothing happened because there was no red door to open. It's just very upsetting to hear. Trying to get Dark Ease out to just walk into these fools. Kind of worked for the most part, to be honest. Keep it going. Ah. Sometimes it, like, blasts them really far. Other times it's like, nah. I'll blast them, like, one inch. M maybe. Maybe, if you're lucky. I'll do, I'll do, like, one inch. Take it or leave it. Go back, try and find our item room real quick. I should really try and secure the Devil Deal first, but... Honestly... Item room could be good. Ooh. High speed plus this room is a bit scary. We can actually blast shots back as well. That's something I haven't really considered. Really? You, you missed on that? Come on now.
good. Oh, I managed to diverge both of them away from the rocks. I mean, these enemies quite literally destroy rocks, so I doubt pushing them into a rock would have any positive effect for us. The other one's dead, apparently. Oh, <laughs> I love that. Right, we did get, I think that's stem cells by the looks of it, which would be fine by me. It is stem cells indeed. Uh, we've got another item here, which I, I literally cannot see physically at all. Um, we'll quickly pop this as well. Burnt penny is whatever. A cracked key. Little more up my alley. Um, I don't really have a, a, a good location right now for a, for a red room. Unlikely to be off of any of these. Actually, do you know, it could be here. Let's just try it. It's not, but it could have been. Really hoping that penny would trigger another red room there. As I said, I'm not a, I'm not really a, a connoisseur of finding red rooms, so I don't really take it into account that often. I, if I find them, I find them. But the ultra secret rooms are a bit of a mystery to me. As are they for everyone. Also, we definitely got hit by this door already, but yet it's still available, which is a bug that I don't really know what, what causes it, but... I'm going to say yes to it nonetheless. We got ourselves the caregiver. I have never seen this item in my entire life, and it has caused some weird stuff here. Um, oopsie. We've got an overlay going on, which is intriguing. The caregiver. Job mod. Tainted. I can't remember. Effects. Applies an old film shader over the screen. When generating a floor, a random special room get duplicated, replacing a normal room. Multiple copies increase the number of duplicates. Uh, all locked doors will now open for free. This is very good. I like the old-timey effect. It's very hard to see, I will say. Like, the the effect is very interesting looking, but it has is, it is darkened our game to, a, to a, a very... I don't know, just hard to see state. I also want to get rid of these barrels real quick. I actually did manage to hit him with the uh, explosion there. That's the XP bar, right? XP bar is a boss item now? What the hell? Also, uh, the mausoleum door open for free, which is pretty interesting. Devil deal here. Let's quickly kill the hand and then we'll take whatever item that is. So wait, does, does turning into this guy even matter for stealing Devil Deals anymore? Judas's Fez. Okay, Judas's Fez is a bit risky, but does give us a pretty significant damage upgrade and a multiplier. It even opens that door. Okay, wow. Whoa, what the fuck just happened there? I mean, Mutant Spider's pretty great here. I'll take it. Um, And then... What the hell? I am confused right now. So, for, for one, let's just quickly go to our options and whack that gamma up to maximum. Just so we can see a little better. Because at the minute, I am unable to see anything. This is significantly better, but still not good. Oh, we get the um, the Judas' Fez effect where we get a uh, Book of the Lila with three rooms. Nice. Dolha here is nice. Experience bar is going to be giving us some good stuff. I'm a, I'm a little confused as to where I am right now. Like, I went through this item room and it led to it led to more rooms, and also that keeps happening. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little I'm a little confused, but I think reasonably so, right? I think reasonably so. Like, what keeps happening there? What's that about? Why do these Why do these iron blocks keep disappearing? Maybe that's Something to do with all locked doors opening, but yeah, like, what on earth is going on here? What on earth is going on? Like, basically my assumption was that item room was meant to duplicate, and it did, but it's duplicated in a way that the game doesn't agree with, right? I think? The hell? Okay, so this is a great trinket, by the way. It just means we gulp all trinkets. Well, it, we, we have a 50% chance to gulp all trinkets, should I say. 
I don't want that other one. We got the swarm here, which is rather nice. But yeah, so that's our duplicated item room there. But I don't know where the the regular item room, like the, the other item room, is leading. Like this is the real floor, right? I've got to assume this is the this is the the truest floor. Also, Craggle with uh, with quad shot is real good. The more shots we fire, the more chance we have to to, to fire a Craggle. So yeah, if we if we make our way through here. These rooms are horrible as this character. Yep, I just had to take it on the noggin there. How much else I can do. This is a just bizarre situation. Nothing we can do ever that way. Make our way back over here. Okay, so no, that does lead to the boss. But it went through the... I think, I think what it essentially did is, instead of adding the item, um, ooh, yeah. Uh, instead of adding the, oh, I didn't gulp it. The item room onto, um, I don't know why I was able to come in here. I think that was because of the, uh, all, the, all doors being open thing. Um, instead of I adding an item room onto the floor, it literally replaces a normal room. I didn't think it meant as in like that. Holy fuck. I didn't think it meant like that, but it's kind of interesting. Okay. Right. Keep it going. This has just been strange, yeah. See if this gulp. It did. Nice. Go over here. I can't, I can't see the middle of that room to know what I need to do there. Like, okay, there's just a spiked path, okay. I wasn't sure if there was a rock there or what. Also got a shop open for free here. Ooh, champion belt. Champion belt's actually incredible for us because it gives us a damage up, which we want, but it also increases the chance for champions, which with this thing for 33% chance for an extra drop is actually a benefit to us. Also, squeezy is incredible. We're getting some good items here. Hopefully the extra spawns this lady lays upon us will cause some solar flares. Fortunately, seemingly not so far. Right, did we have a, a path where we were going? The lamb, okay. Take that. We'll pop down here. Okay, this, this has become a quite bizarre run. I gotta say, um, why is it destroying all the all the rocks? I, I'm I'm a little confused. I got ooh glass eyes great here. We have great damage right now. Do not want Mum's toenail permanently smelted. Thank you very much. This is a red room, right? Yes, it is. Hey, Ezo. How you doing? Yeah, this has been uh, quite strange. All in all. Okay, so Famine's making our double drops into single drops. That's fine by me, though, for the most part. That's just going to be how it is. Okay, you, Dark Ezo, you are in a terrible position right now. Imagine one-shotting an enemy on the womb with Butter Bean. Okay, this is an awkward room. I do not like this. I think the other guy died already. Yeah, he did. Okay. That works out for me. That is a dice room with a one on it, so no thank you. I almost walked directly into that. That would have been devastating. So I wonder what our duplicated special room is this time, then. Because it, it very well could be the dice room, right? Because... That technically counts as a special room, so we might end up getting two dice rooms this floor. I don't know if that's how exactly how it works, but that seems to be. Seems to be the case. I do apologize if this video is a little hard to watch just with the uh the the grainy effect. It's a very cool visual effect, but I think it's 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 wholeheartedly too dark. But then again, I have to say it's not really made for videos and items shouldn't be, so that's not a big deal. Okay, 
Okay, we've got Blastasis in here. This is kind of an awkward room here, I think. We should be fine, as long as uh, Dark Ezel doesn't mess with us too much. But yeah, it's a bit of a weird concept to have a, a visual overlay attached to an item. It's not really something Isaac ever explores, or it's not even something I've seen mods really explore. If I'm at least if I'm remembering correctly. Thank you. Okay, so it was indeed the dice room. It seems to have a sound effect when we get a duplicated room as well, which is good to know. We get another dice room. Will it be okay? It's not another one room, surprisingly. We did get a cracked key here. I cannot use in this room, apparently. Yeah, let's just go and try and use our cracked key here. It's really weird. Oh, thank... That 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 buggered me up, that did, because it, it placed me in the wrong spot. I'm really glad that wasn't, like, a one room, because that would have really annoyed me if it forced me to accidentally... Uh, I said forced and accidentally. You can't really have both of those things at the same time, but you know what I mean. Is it... How does this work? Because this guy's constantly being damaged right now. Okay, no, he does still pop up. Good. I was a bit scared he wasn't going to pop up because of that. Half soul heart. I really like the curse of famine. Very, very cool curse. Doesn't impact you too much. I just, I think the, I think the curses are just really, really good. Like they have unique visual effects to, to let you know when they're, uh, when they're in effect. They have unique effects themselves that are um, actually, I wouldn't say fun because curses aren't meant to be fun, but they're, um, they're not annoying. <laughs> they're actually like unique and you don't mind having them. It's a disadvantage, but it's a disadvantage you don't sort of... I'm not saying, like, they are impactful. They do make a difference, but in a... It's really hard to describe, but you know what I mean. Please please, please try to know what I mean. Okay, so this this floor will probably get a doubled arcade, right? Well, we, we, we'll have to get a doubled arcade, please. Oh, I didn't gold pick. God damn it. I kind of feel like I have to take it, though. It's too good. But yeah, th this this was a regular room, so we definitely are getting a doubled arcade. But yeah, this is too good, because it just the, the more shots we fire, the more chance Craggle has uh, to proc. And I think that is very important, because it's a good amount of our damage. And it's just cool. We got a luck penny in that room. I need to go and grab that. Yeah, sorry, red penny. You are very good, but not for me today. That one gulped. Nice. Yeah, I'm not really looking for the second arcade unless. Do you know what? Actually, maybe I am, because if it's the exact, there you go. If it's the exact same arcade, there you go. We might get the same chest and might get more trinkets. We didn't get more trinkets, but we at least did get some more loot. Yeah, Little Clot's really, really doing well for us right now. Come on, Solar Flare. Do your thing. It did miss somehow. I don't really know how you managed that solar flare, but there you go. Our fire rate is so good for what the, the tier effects we have right now. Also, you're, you are sat directly in the flare, so good luck with that. Alright, so Devil Deal, let's check it out. Holy hell yes, we'll be taking Incubus. I'm going down. This is a really cool run. And just, just, there's a lot of working pieces here that's creating a very interesting thing. Obviously, after after the fact that it can't duplicate treasure rooms anymore, this this item is not as good. But it is at least opening up all doors for us, which um, 
good for like boss trap rooms and stuff I guess. Like on these floors at least, there's not many other locks I could imagine would really need to open. Because they can't be open with keys. Oh, walked right over those spikes, that was a good idea wasn't it? Okay, we're okay, so famine again here. We did somehow get a... We did somehow get a normal drop there. And a normal full heart. Maybe it's only a chance. I, didn't, I don't actually know. God damn, that guy's huge. Gotta remember the craggles can't travel over pits. Okay, so that's a shock, but I think that's due to the trinket that we uh, smelted. And I guess humbling bundles worthwhile here. Otherwise, this isn't really super useful to us. I don't know which trinket that is, but it's one of them. So I think humbling bundle is overwriting I care of famine right now. Oh wait, wait. This this might not. Oh, okay. I did get an item room as well. Okay. It might not be famine actually. It might be. Um... Oh no, it's famine. It is famine. That did not work at all. What? Sometimes, I don't know if it's like the frame rate or lag, but the, the boss just doesn't spawn when you expect it to. The fuck? I'm having a real hard time with these, uh, these bombs here. Yeah. Just about didn't get hit there. This is the, the scariest bit, because Dark Ezel can super easily hit us with how we have to move in this section. Luckily, this section is usually over pretty quickly, because the feet have very, very low health. Okay. Right, these these trades we actually have to make for our HP, so if we want to do that. Ooh, Mega Satan doors open. Sanguine's useless. Um, enemies that come close to you become crippled. Your tears um, cripple enemies. Over time, when crippled enemies die, we've found a... Okay, let's try that out. And do you know what? Let's just go straight for Mega Satan. Why not? We even got our damage up in this room. I'm feeling feisty. I'm feeling feisty. But I, I also think we have just a very, very good build to take on Mega Satan. Especially with the Solar Flare being in such a prominent position. But look at the amount of fire... Now, I will say that if we lose our clot, we do lose some of this firepower because we're not going to be firing as many craggles. But we do have Incubus now, which is a is another more guaranteed way to increase our craggle output. I don't mind that really too much. Oh, dude. That was, that was rude. I wasn't expecting the brimstone beam there. I really wasn't. That's all the solar flares. Trying to manage Dark Ezo a little bit here, but he is a he's a bit of a bitch, so kind of hard to do. There we go. I got him to hit a uh, slot there. Nice. I do. I, I I love the way this visual effect makes the game look as well. That's another thing. It just makes the game look great. But the hand should be going down pretty quick here. Angels coming in. God oh, damn, the one, if, if we get like a really big craggle proc where like five of them, six of them come out at once, which is happening reasonably often with the amount of tears we're firing, uh, it just annihilates. It just does so much damage. There you go. I think the craggle's having a hard time hitting Mega Satan, so we're, we're nerfed a little bit on Mega Satan himself. This bit's always scary with Dark Ezo, because you can't really move down, down the screen and still see what's, what's going on. I think it is hitting him, but because it can't pass through him, it's not hitting with the full force of what it was with the other enemies. Now, remember, it's not super, super useful, but Butterbean does knock back shots. We can utilize Butterbean here to save our ass if we're in a tight position. Like I said, it's not super, super useful, because I can't really see, but... It's got some some niche use cases. Like this. Popped it there. It seems to do a good amount. 
Nice. I'm getting dark. I'm baiting Darkies out nicely at the minute. I should really be throwing in bombs whenever I can as well, because the damage they do is pretty awesome. Okay, there you go. We got him. We got him. Don't let Darkies out hit us while this bit does its thing. Oh, what the hell? What the fuck? Anyways, that was a really good run. I think I'm going to leave it there just because I don't believe we can do Delirium with this setup. And yeah, that was a, just a very, very fun run. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.